Welcome back. It's your boy DG from DG Mindset. Go grab a box of tissues. Go ahead and settle yourself in because this is going to touch some heartstrings. But before we get started, make sure you hit subscribe. Share this with at least two people. Leave in the comments if this resonates with you. People ask me all the time, how do I forgive someone that has hurt me? How do I love someone that doesn't actually love me? I'm going to break this down for you and tell you the real what's really going on. Understand that everyone in your life is merely a reflection of a part of you. If you are in a relationship with somebody, that person who you're in a relationship with is actually just the unhealed parts of yourself. So whoever you marry, they are reflecting all of the unhealed parts of yourself. Whoever you're dating, they are reflecting the unhealed parts of yourself. So here's what I mean by that. I have all of these things going on inside of my head. I don't think that I'm enough. I think that I'm unworthy. I feel like I'll never be good enough. I don't love myself. I don't forgive myself. So what, 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 is, what does the ego do? The ego projects it onto other people. So now I'm jealous of my girlfriend. I'm jealous of my boyfriend. And the reason why you're jealous is because the underlying energy is you're not enough as you are. Do you see? They are reflecting back to you that you're not enough. So the ego has created attachment to their loving of you so it can be enough. In the moment that it does not have it, suffering has kicked in. But how do you love others and how do you forgive people that have hurt you? It's really quite simple. You must first forgive yourself. And here's what we mean by forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness, ask for forgiveness, ask for forgiveness. You know what forgiveness is? Forgiveness is you accepting things just as they are. The moment that I accept something as it is, I have just forgiven the situation. Let's understand the difference. If somebody does something to you, that does not necessarily mean you forget but instead, you have extracted the lesson by contemplating and asking, what would I do differently? And by doing that, you can now accept this situation for what it is instead of for what it isn't. So when you don't forgive somebody, you're essentially carrying the energy of, I wish this was something else and I'm rejecting the fact that this is what it is. That's what unforgiveness is. So for you to forgive someone else, you must first accept yourself just as you are at this moment in space and time. When you forgive yourself, you will now be able to forgive others like that. So no matter what somebody does, you can forgive them because you accept this is what it is. If you wanna suffer, if you wanna suffer in life, don't accept the present moment. Guaranteed, you will induce suffering. Well, I, I just wish she would love me. The reason why you need her to love you is because you yourself do not love yourself without conditions yet. Do you see how this works? Remember I told you in the episode before that the ego creates attachment to things on the outside because there is an indis a discrepancy on something on the inside. So if I need her validation, if I need her approval, if I need her love, that's because I myself have not given it to myself yet without conditions. And we know whatever we give ourselves will be what we give others. Hurt people, hurt people. Heal people, heal people. Whatever you are on the inside, you will project this outward. So to make it simple for yourself, if you wanna forgive what somebody's done to you, if you wanna accept the moment, accept the situation for what it is, you must first accept you for what you are in this moment. You must first be able to look yourself in the mirror and say, I love you. And we don't have it all figured out right now, but we are learning. At this moment in space and time, this level of awareness where I'm at, this is what it is. While I'm striving to do better, this is what I am. If you can do that, now the next time someone does that to you, or somebody doesn't do something to you or for you, you'll be able to look at them and say, this is what it is. While maybe this isn't what I wanted it to be, this is what it is. And that is what we call 
forgiveness. So all this in a nutshell, you can't forgive anyone before you forgive yourself, but you can't forgive yourself until you accept what you are in this present moment. If this video hit you differently, please let me know in the comments, please. If you felt goosebumps, if you felt the hair on the back of your neck stand up, if you felt this get down in your spirit, let your boy know. Make sure you share this with at least two or three people. Like, subscribe, and until next time, be good.